Hello and Assalamualaikum. Today, we would like to present our experiment of a clay pot to determine how much load it can handle. Before that, we would like to introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Nurhani Nasiha binti Swahili and I'm from EC1103E. Hello, I'm Nur Aina binti Sabi'i from EC1103E. Hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Kamaru Arifin and I am from group EC1103. Next, I will tell you about the materials you will need to make the clay boat float. So, the materials are tissue, plasticine, transparent container, beaker, scissor, cello tape, ruler, coins, and lastly, water. For the test one, step one is to measure the weight of the clay after roll the clay and turn it into a round ball. Next, fill the container using beaker filled with water for about three quarters full of water. After that, on the outside of the container, make a mark to show the water level by using the cello tape. After making a mark to show the water level, take the round ball clay and slowly lower the lump of the clay into the container. Then take out the clay and dry it using a tissue, then change the shape of the round ball clay into a boat shape to see it whether it will float or sink in the water. As you can see in this video, we are using the same clay from the previous test. We change the shape and the design of the boat from the task 1 so it can ensure that the boat can float and also can carry the load of the coins. So for the task 2, we change the shape of the front of the boat into a nozzle shape and also change the base of the boat. After changing the shape and the design of the boat, slowly put it on the water and as you can see, it floats. And then put one by one coin on the boat to see how much minimum mass it can carry. And as you can see, the boat finally sank after a coin mass of about 372 grams was placed on the boat. This is the shape and measurement for our clay boat. Give a thumbs up if you like our video and thank you.